Welcome to Jive. I'm Tim and today on Ramblings, we are not in West Tennessee anymore. Guys, this is Big Spring here in Van Buren, Missouri. I uh, had a great time uh, floating the current river this weekend with Jin Jin and Candace and uh, all Candace's little lady friends. Make sure you check out that video coming very soon on Ridge Life. Uh, you'll see a uh, the high, the good camera uh, tour of this big spring here, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Gonna take you a, a walk around today. I got gnats flying all around my face here. So if you see me swatting, it's these gnats. But guys, look at this view. I figured uh, I'd do a little quick ramblings. Jin Jin's in the uh, truck over there. We're gonna be doing some hiking today up on these cliffs. I got some cool things to show you. And ooh, I, just got a, I just got a gnat in my mouth. Uh, but she's gonna sit in the car as I do this walk around uh, ramblings with you, um, just so we can get up high on the cliffs and I don't have to worry about uh, you know, making sure she don't slip and fall. But whew, goodness gracious, these gnats. Oh, whew. Sorry guys. Again, this is Big Spring here in Van Buren, Missouri. And guys, this does a whopping 288 million gallons of water a day. It is one of the largest springs in the world. It says it's the largest spring in the world. Some places you read it. There's a couple other around the world that say, uh, you know, they are. But 288 million gallons of water a day. That's crazy. Let's take a little walk around this uh, beautiful stone walk they have around here. You can see they've got these cobblestones and uh, a couple of signs there's a trail that goes all the way around you can go down by this uh, bridge but again it says right here 288 million gallons of water flow through the spring enough to fill bush stadium in st louis in only 33 hours that would be a lot a lot of water guys but it is gorgeous out here um not too many people here for uh labor day weekend we're surprised not uh, we went floating down the river uh, we had a big 10-man raft, like a big whitewater raft. And it was me, uh, Candace, Jin Jin, of course, and Candace's, uh, I believe it's her sister and daughter, or was it her cousin and daughter? And uh, then her, her daughters also, Candace's daughter. So it was me and seven ladies. <laughs> me and seven ladies on a raft. Yeah, uh, I was surrounded by women. Yeah, hey, that's not a bad problem to have, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you another little... Uh, sign here this is the karst topology that's how this all works see the mountain all the water filters down through the limestone all the rock and then the pressure pushes it up gravity pushes it up out of the uh, ground and it just it just flowing out here guys it's one of the most amazing things you'll ever see so pretty very very nice people up here in missouri traveling from all over the country but look at this <laughs> oh guys and there's some caves up here too, guys. And not another little secret I'm going to show you too when I get up here. But uh, look at this. So pretty. Look up here. Water is just bubbling up out of the ground right here. Check this out. We're gonna walk all the way down to it. And you can see how it just comes right out of the ground. 288 million gallons. You would definitely not want to fall off into there. I know I don't. Let's see how cold it is. Oh, look how deep that hole is. That is some cold, cold water there, guys. It is so blue, too. So blue. Check out these caves. This cave system here. Let's go in. Oh, it goes around. Oh, it goes around that way. Too dark for me to go in there. Right, let's go around the other one. Another cave right over here. Ooh, do not want to slip and fall. Let's 
check this cave out right here. Hello, 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 hello. So cool. It's so cold in here, guys. So cold in this cave. And you come out here and it's 80 degrees again. High humidity. All right. Got a special treat for you up on top of this hill. We can get up there without falling, slipping. Yeah, I got my Crocs and four-wheel drive. <laughs> All right. Look at this. Look at these rocks, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see if we can get up here. We're going up, guys. We're going up. Let's try and get my camera a little farther away from me. All right. Wow. There's something up here I gotta show you. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. It's hard to do this holding a camera. I definitely do not want to slip and fall. Going down. Whoa. Going up. Right, continue going up. Once I get up here. I gotta show you something. You know, I took my good camera, got a better video of it. All right. Can you all see that right there? That is a hornet's nest, a paper hornet's nest. Right up there in that tree. I'll have to come back around here and see if I can zoom in for you. And there are hornets in there. I climbed up there uh, earlier and some of them started coming out after me, so I had to come back down. All right, let's see if I can get down here without killing myself. I'll get to mostly unedited video here so if i fall <laughs> you'll see it but please don't wish for me to fall if i see i'm sweating like a pig too <laughs> leaves are starting to fall too it is september and uh, the leaves starting to turn color a little bit but guys, look up these, these uh, cliffs. Whew. So other than when Jen Jen's on here, this is probably one of the most beautiful ramblings you'll see. 
Um, oh my gosh, every turn is beautiful. Sweating like a pig here. Walk on down here to let you see a little bit of the river. So yeah, we floated the river and um, it's a lot slower than the Buffalo in Tennessee, the current river here in Van Buren. It's a lot deeper, a lot wider. Oh, uh, boats can be on the, on the current river. And it's kind of scary because those boats are jet boats, jet prop boats, and they go flying down that river. You know, people jumping off cliffs people jumping off cliffs and all of a sudden a boat come through so scary um, so I didn't really care for the boats being on the river while you're floating but uh, it was a beautiful beautiful time with blue skies oh my gosh just gorgeous how's that tree how's that tree living right there isn't that crazy So we had a, at the Current River Retreat we stayed at, our little uh, four apartment co uh, uh, complex. Um, we had a big fire pit. Um, we uh, grilled out steaks and baked potatoes last night and just had a wonderful meal, had a big fire afterwards. Uh, we got to meet the people that were staying in the apartment complex with us. Again, I call it apartment com complex, more like condos. And uh, really cool people. Oh my gosh, everywhere is blue. Really nice people. Um, they were actually from Jackson, Tennessee. <laughs> we're over here in Missouri. You gotta drive through Arkansas. Um, well, actually, you don't have to drive through Arkansas. It depends on which way you come, I guess. But um, we got to meet some really cool people and uh, really nice people on the river too, uh, doing real nice things for everybody, helping each other out. Um, when we got back in at the end of the day, um, there were a bunch of parties waiting to take the vans back. We had eight in our party and uh, one group instead of splitting up They let us go ahead of them. That was really cool Huge tree fell up there Beautiful cobblestone walkway I call it cobblestone stone um the ride up here was nice it's only about probably um three and a half hours to my place from here not bad at all you know to to see this type of atmosphere Ooh. more stairs going down very cool spot i might stop back there on the way back let's keep on walking around this trail the water is so clear and cold now on the current river, uh, a lot of you know, big springs feed into the current, the big spring feeds into the current river. Uh, so it is cooler than a, uh, uh, just a regular river, but it's not super cold like Spring River in Hardy. And uh, the Buffalo, uh, the Buffalo is actually warmer, I think, than both. That's, that's my opinion. I don't know if it is or not, but um, such a beautiful place. So if you get a chance to come to Current River in Van Buren, Missouri, I don't think you'll be disappointed. We're gonna come up here across on a bridge let you look down at the water from there. And uh, then Jen Jen and I are gonna be heading back home. I got lots of things to do. I got a canopy to put up. I got tons of videos, uh, reviews to put out on Ridge Life's reviews and how to's, which that channel, here, you're gonna hear it here first. Ridge Life's reviews and how to's got monetized. Yay, thanks to you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. I actually checked it this morning. I made $2, yes, <laughs> $2 on it. Uh, but it's just one more step into becoming a full-time YouTuber, and uh, I'll take it as it comes. All right, we're stepping off the trail here. The trail keeps on going up that way. We're going to cross this river, and then I'm going to let you go and get back on the road. So, again, hopefully you enjoyed this beautiful walk around Big Spring. I know I enjoyed taking you, that's for sure. Again, I came out here um, with my good camera. Got some good, very good footage. I'll put that in the uh, Ridge Life video for the, the weekend trip. And I 
put a little bit of the this ramblings too i'll cut some pieces uh of me hiking up there and put it in with that other video so if you're watching ridge life and you've seen a little bit of this video in it that's my eyes you'll say hey i know that oh check this out beautiful beautiful i'm gonna cross over show you the downstream side and then i'll show you the upstream and bid you adieu and farewell a vita zane whoa my goodness look at this guys look at this So peaceful, so peaceful. Check this side out, the upstream side. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you with that and uh, make sure you stick around, come back for more Ridge Life ramblings, Ridge Life, our lifestyle on the main, on the Ridge, and then Ridge Life's reviews and how-tos on all the intricate details of how we do things and the things we use on the Ridge. And then once I start it back up, Ridge Life's, Ridge Life Lessons, my uh, faith-based channel, uh, there's a bunch of, bunch of really good years worth of uh, Bible lessons on that channel and uh, started it whenever COVID happened and uh, doing live streams. Those are all recorded live, almost all of them. Started off actually not recording them live and then uh, eventually went live after that. So guys, I'm gonna let you go. So until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling and go Ridge Life.